Well, the Broncos aren't racking up the wins, but football season is now, in fact, rolling along. And the city of Denver says it is seeing more pedicabs around town, but they say there's one problem. They say they're also seeing more unlicensed pedicabs. Nine News reporter Lauren Scafidi is outside Mile High tonight to explain the problems that, with that and what that could pose for you and what the city is going to do about it. The city tells me they're going to keep a close eye on these pedicabs. Right now, they're focusing on educating these drivers so they know what to do and later more serious consequences. It's all to keep everybody safe. They're fun. They're festive, and these pedal cabs are everywhere just in time for the start of football season. And pedal cab is kind of the romantic part of that experience. We want to make sure it's safe and it's a great time. Eric Escudero with the city encourages this type of transportation, but wants you to be careful. We see a lot of unlicensed pedal cab operators come to Denver because they feel they can make a quick buck. While a good playlist is always important, the right credentials are more important. You need to make sure you're getting into a pedal cab that has a little license plate on the back. It shows that they're licensed. And also, they should have a badge displayed on their, on their chest that shows they're a licensed operator. That means pedal cab drivers passed their background check and they have insurance. Unfortunate events happen where maybe that pedal cab driver gets into an accident or something happens. There's a peace of mind for consumers taking those pedal cabs that they have some sort of protection. The city wants to keep peddlers and passengers safe on the way to and from the game, no matter what happens on the field. There's a lot of ways that that license can protect consumers. Uh, number one is we can hold a pedal cab operator accountable if they are violating where they're allowed to travel. Like there's some rules about traveling and traffic and where they're supposed to go. So if we see them operating illegally, the city can take enforcement action and revoke that license. If drivers are caught violating these rules first this week, it'll be a warning. After that, we're talking criminal citations. That could mean jail time and a hefty fine. If you are trying to get on a ride chair out of Mile High, all you have to do is come to Gate 8 and then hop on the trail. That'll take you to 5th and Walnut. Adam Powerfield, Lawrence Cafiti, 9 News. Okay, all the details we need. Thanks, you. Thanks Lauren.